No, there's nothing wrong with that at all. There there are actually a couple games that I'm very much like that. Like, Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Ultimate, Marvel 3. I love watching them. I hate playing them. There are very few games that I enjoy watching and playing. Notice how the combat cast intro is all the DLC characters now. It's like, fuck the regular cast. <laughs> My boy. The combat cast starts now. Let's do it. <coughs> and welcome everyone to combat cast number two for Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Very excited today because we're bringing a character that I've been really looking forward to to the Mortal Kombat universe, and that is Rambo. So before we get to that, let's uh, bring the crew in here and chat real quick, and we'll get right to it. Uh, again, I'm Tyler Lansdowne, uh, one of the community managers. Derek looks Nether like Realm he Studios. just woke up. Stephanie Brombach, senior QA With his analyst. very impressive Transformers wall. Derek Kurtzik, and you should go out and vote. Good call, Derek. I was going to say at the end, but you've, you've stolen my thunder. We, um, we can do it again. Yeah. Like it's no, important. it's fine. It's fine. We've all <laughs> dressed up at, for Halloween. I'm a combo breaker competitor. Uh, Stephanie is a witch, and Derek is a jogger dressed as Rambo, or a Rambo dressed as a jogger? Which one are you? I, I'm, the, uh, I'm another Realm Rambo employee out wearing jogging. a sweatband. Got it. Got it. Jogging you know, Rambo. I have a little matching hat for my cat, but she would not cooperate. She would have... We no saw, it, I'm, I'm really we saw it earlier. We saw it earlier when we, when we were getting all this, this whole thing ready, but I'm sorry it didn't work out. Um, yeah. So today, oh, we're going to talk about Rambo. Hat. Very excited. Uh, I've been looking forward to Rambo for quite a while, ever since Stephanie and I kind of talked about how Rambo plays. Now, since we're not in the studio, I haven't had my chance to really get in there and play Rambo like I would like to, but um, everything that we've seen and everything we're going to show today makes me really excited. Yeah, he's he turned out really, really awesome. Like, at Oh, first, Marshall, it would like, never happen. Oh, well, he's a dude without powers. That you That'll be the really day. Think about it. Rambo's a master of... A Transformer combat, shows up in Mortal Kombat. Traps, using the environment to advance his advantage. Round one, you know, fight. The, the, Optimus the Prime just steps on the guy. And Optimus Prime wins. Very experienced <laughs> and, you know, knows how to use his environment to his advantage and stuff. So it led to all kind of interesting moves that are not at all what I expected when I heard he was going to be in the game. Derek, what are, you, what, are you, what are your thoughts on Rambo right Sound now? Sound coming in okay, Chad? Uh, I'm excited for people to see him because it was, oh, he's going to have guns, a gun character, gun character, and that is absolutely not what he is. Uh, just like Steph said, he's hand-to-hand -hand combat, a lot of brutal, cool throws and moves, um, and unique things. Like, I really like um, his throw where he, like, kind of has, they fall into a pit and he throws a grenade over his shoulder or whatnot. It's just really cool, and it's perfect Rambo. All very Rambo. Um, so before we get into discussing how Rambo plays, I think we should uh, take another look quickly at the Rambo trailer. I'm taking you off the board. Give it your best shot, soldier. It'll be right between the eyes. Fight! Oh, mama, trust me, it ain't just the comic. Uh, it ain't just the Michael Bay movies where Optimus is a sociopath. Oh, God, I love that movie so much. Give me something to low profile every single one of these bitches in MK11. Please. Yo, does he pick up a rock on the second hit of that? I just noticed that. Finish. 
Fatality. Still gruesome to watch. Wins. Oh, Metroid Master, you would be surprised how many people will just shut their brain off and do it and not even realize that you put it down. See, I I was I'm more excited for the upgrade than I am the combat pack. I hate to say. There it is. There it is, Rambo. Uh, I saw on Twitter someone said they're they're sad for a lot of reasons. We can't do tournaments obviously right now, but the fact that like Rambo wins when he's doing the the yelling, the oh, that not uh, everyone will really yell that yell that during a tournament win um, is is going to be missed. But hopefully that that comes eventually. Um, so that's Rambo, like we said, uh, a lot of use of traps, a lot of close-up hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting, lots of knife work. Um, and bow and arrow, I a, forgot about that. And, yeah. and bow and arrow. Um, there is, and the crawl. The crawl got a lot yes. of uh, good love on, on By social. By far my favorite move. It's the so leopard crawl awesome. for the win. Uh, one of the, the kind of the terms we use in, in, in the game world for fighting games is a thing called two-player animations, and that was when the other player, like, like do a strike, strike, grab, throw that isn't like a command grab. And he has, it seems to get quite a few of those as well, which I'm oh, yeah. super into. Um, so that's Rambo. So let's discuss real quickly, like we always do, talking about what what does Rambo bring to the table? What How does he fight? What kind of players will want to play as Rambo? I would describe Rambo as a non-traditional zoning character. He does not sit full screen and pew, pew, pew. Uh, but he does keep you away or at least can contained with trap moves. Like he has this log traps and trip wires and claymore mines. So he's still a zoner. Kind of slow you down or keep you afraid to jump or afraid to dash or afraid to walk in. And then he kind of gets in and he does his brawling up close stuff with his knife. So yeah, space control, but not like a, uh, you know, like Cetrion or a character like that, like just, you know, zooming projectiles. Notice she didn't say Robocop. Right. She didn't say um, yeah, Robocop. I really enjoyed her watching his, his game. Because even they, they don't view, like a, view him as a zoner. Like playing a sort of zoner, he will work for you. But honestly, like, as a person who loves playing characters like Kano and Jax, he has that feel to me, too, where he can just get in there and start swinging. That's true. Depending on the abilities you choose, he does have a little bit of command grabs in there. He's got some 50-50s if you want to take some risk, and he's got some, he'll have some setups and some, a combos and stuff like that, so you can mix it up. It doesn't have to be the, the kind of keep away thing if you don't want. That's more like how you contain them so that you can do the type of offense that you choose to do. Right, on Twitter he's I saw one cool, of our... Go ahead, please. I was going to say, he's got a couple cool advancing attacks with the shoulder roll and then obviously the leopard crawl, so I mean, he's got tools to get in too to play his game as well. Yes, that's a good right. point. A lot of his special moves, while his normal attacks are really for up close because it's an eye, uh, he has a lot of special attacks that close the difference in unique ways. I saw on Twitter uh, one of our fans, uh, an eagle-eyed fan, s saw that he has that slide that he used in the first Rambo movie, where yes, he slides in and does, awesome. does the elbow pop, which is, I love when our, when our design team takes something directly from the movie and, and makes it work with the character in a fighting game. I, that's just always really fun to see. And major props to them for that. Um, let's, oh, I guess... But, I mean, you you can always tell... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean... But the design team, it's always... Everybody it's cuts poor Tyler off. You can, <laughs> you know, they clearly... Whoever, like, kind of heads up that character is clearly just a massive fan. And it's, that's got to be so awesome if you're a huge fan to get to, like, this little moment. We do our homework. Game. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, let's real quickly then. Let's talk. Let's take, show a video and talk about uh, Rambo's just his basic fight style, his his movement, his his kicks, his punches, that sort of thing. So he has this knife and he uses it in most of his normal attacks. And you can see. Oh, was that his down too? Just sticks the knife up. <laughs> I think they're pretty good. They're pretty quick. 
it's he's a close quarter character because you know it's not like a sword or a machete. He does over, grab a rock and hit I you with it. Like, That's cool. I like this that. This fun because he literally uses a rock to stuff up, <laughs> which amuses me greatly. And then lastly, he has this drop kick, which is an overhead. It's pretty quick, and if he does two in a row, he gets a crushing blow. He's got an Aaron Black he has kick, <laughs> and it has a crushing blow with a really unique uh, condition. It's Loaded if he has not been hit or jumped in 10 seconds. So, yeah, and then you go, yes, you get to combo off that stun when they hold it up. So it's not the traditional requirement. It's uh, 10 okay. seconds of not being knocked down or not jumping, which is really tough for players like me and Derek to not jump for 10 seconds. That is <laughs> interesting. Correct. Uh so it's so a really good, like, you know, in the foot of the game when you're going back and forth, you can just kind of wait. And then the other player's like, how long has it been? Is he going to come in for the throw? And then you get that sort of meta game going of, are you ready to attack that throw? Something that I I think I've done twice in history on purpose. So, oh, so 10 go. seconds of not being hit or ahead. jumping. Wait, does Rambo have that ready? Or like, not being knocked down, And then they do the rather. back throw to trick you. It's good fun. So it's only on front throw? Yes, it's only on front throw. His other throw does not have it. So it could be locked and ready, you do a back throw, they miss the tech, and there you go. Or I think you're going to tech because you think I'm not going to do it when I have it loaded, but then I do it, the non-mix-up mix-up. The non-mix-up mix-up. Mind tricks all Just day. move on. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Let's take a look real quickly at uh, Rambo's default special moves. So first up, he uses his bow. It's a really fast, high projectile. And the cool thing is it's almost like a stance. He can fire multiple, up to three. He can let it go. He can just hang on it, wait a second, then shoot one. And none of that costs stamina, either defensive or offensive. Then he has this mm. trick, which I think is like the crux of his space control. It's really fast. He has a close and far version. And it it's a low. It pretty much forces the opponent to either walk in slowly, attempt to jump, Dashing is really risky. Basically, if they're moving, they're going to get hit. They're going to get knocked down, and then that sets up. He can either go into arrows, he can just, he could advance, or he can do it again. And it's kind of a move that makes you just sit still and look out for it. It's, it's the main move that ties everything else together. It also is a pretty good combo ender. Then he has a slide. He's got both of Aaron Black's moves. Really far by holding forward. You can actually roll backwards by holding back after, even on block, to make it hard to punish. It is an amplified that does more damage with a crushing blow if he does it three times. Very similar to how Sub Zero games by Slide work. So I think this move's pretty good for advancing. You want to go under something. It's decent for 50 50. It's like you could use that with his drop kick as an overhead low mix up. Never mind, I might be playing Rambo. <laughs> and lastly, he has one more move that's not in his default move list, but I really wanted to show it because, well, I think it's awesome. Every time, every new character, we have one one or two new things that we've kind of never tried before, actually. And uh, Yeah, this is one this, of the weirder crushing glows. This one is uh, pretty fantastic, so let's take a look at the old, the old bug here. So, as we know, as Troutman explained... He's trained to eat stuff and make a billy goat puke. And in the game, we show that by an insect crawls by and he actually eats it and then comes back. And what? It's on the cooldown. It's a crushing blow of the bug, which gives them hella energy back. <laughs> the downside to this is if he eats too many, he then vomits and he's stunned. I love that. There's that a... is incredible. I love that we've, we've now done a, uh, a a KB on a bug. A crushing yeah. blow on a healing move. Totally. Mind, really, mining the bug's own business. It's impressive reflexes. Well, bugs are horrible creatures, so I support him stabbing it. That's fine. Um, that, that's incredible. Um, let's take a look at uh, Rambo's Variation 1. So the first thing is, he gets his tripwire. And this is different than the other one. It sets up a combo, he amplifies it. There's no close or far, it just it knows where the opponent is. It's pretty quick. And this is one of the main ways to get big combos with Rambo, if you choose to use this. 
The second thing is the crawl, which I absolutely love. This is essentially a low stance. He has numerous moves from it. He has this quick slide. Then he has a grab. This is actually like a, a grab. If they're blocking, it'll hit them. And then he has a parry. And the parry's neat because it parries lows, mids, and highs. Beg your pardon? So if he's down in the your opponent tries to hit him out of it, he can actually parry it. And then the parry and the throw have a crushing blow. If he crawls long enough, he'll be loaded. And if he grabs you, he smashes your face then. Wow. So the parry can stop lows, <sighs> mids, can, and highs? I, mean, I, know, I know that you're you're going to be playing Molina, but this yeah. the crawl alone makes me think that that's just trolly enough for you to do. Uh, yeah, I will absolutely try and crawl people to death. Yeah, you just grab a foot, killing a person by stabbing their foot. I'm in. Stabbing a bug. Yeah. I'm in. Now this just definitely seems right up your alley to troll the living hell out of anybody you're playing against. So the Nether Realm pattern is repeating. That is my top um, priority at all times. Final wave cool of DLC too, always like winds up they, being the best. Try to like hit you in any way, and you're ready to parry it. You said it parries all types of like yes. highs and lows and whatnot. So, some good stuff there too. Um, also, I gotta say, love that that costume on Rambo. I love the, oh, yeah, uh, the green military jacket. I just, I, I love for some reason I love olive green jackets, and that that did it for me. So, um, you don't own a single one of them. I have. My girlfriend actually gets mad when I when every time I want to buy a new coat, she's like, "Do we need a new green coat?" Because I have three in my closet. <laughs> um, so uh, let's take a look at Variation 2 for Rambo. So Variation 2, he can pull an end stick. Yo, that stays on screen a ground. long time. And this is a very fast projectile. It's like a stream of bullets. And he also gets to play more mine. And what's fun about this is once it's triggered, it can blow up either, opponent, or either person, be it him or the opponent. Huh. He could put it down and it lasts for quite a long time. And if he amplifies it, he puts leaves over it so it's invisible. So there's fun stuff you can do. You can put it down. Let it sit there for a while. This is going to be the you variation everybody stuff. flocks to. They forget about it, they get popped up. And then lastly, his uh, tripwire is replaced by this log trap. And it's pretty much the opposite of it. Instead of covering the ground, it covers the air. It'll still hit when it was standing, but it's also awesome for anti-air. So this is like, if you're fighting an opponent that won't stop jumping, this is, you really can't ask for better anti-air than a giant log swing across the whole screen really fast. Kung Lao better it, watch his ass. A, a <laughs> blow as well. um, do you yes, see, if you do it uh, three times happens? in a row. Okay. Awesome. You can also think, uh, so they kind of, sorry, but they kind of complement each other because the landmine controls the ground. If he puts it in front of him and he's behind it, you pretty much have to either wait it out or jump over it or hope you have a teleport. So then you want to jump because the landmine and he has the log. So he can kind of put the trap down, use the log, and if the opponent wants to move because they don't want to deal with the gun with the claymore there, they're going to get hit out of the air by the log. So all three moves kind of are like a little loop, a little uh, Ouroboros or whatever, the snake eating the snake, death I guess. Traps. Don't, don't tell. Death traps. Yeah. So I'm thinking that when I play against Eric, I should be using a log that, that controls the air. I mean, if it would stop no like no man Dash, control. it would probably stop the slide, the too. Yeah, he would just, I'm just gonna roll. he would just be done. That's true, yeah. He would roll into a Claymore mine. He will be rolling into plenty of Claymore mines. Uh, very yeah. exciting. Um Awesome. So two two distinct ways of playing uh, Rambo so far. Um, Is Derek slowly believe, but surely putting spooky animatronics behind him every time they cut scenes? Variation three. Because another yeah, one has just popped up. So this one is like a grab version. He gets a couple of restraints get grab under us, and they are actual grabs. Like if you're blocking, you get hit. And then this one is a hit, but it is like a restand. So you can end your combo with it. And he'll be standing and he gets advantage. It also just looks really, really nasty. Then he gets a command grab. The cool thing is when Yikes. he amplifies it, you can choose which way to throw you. And it has a crushing blow for punishing a wake up roll. So let's see. You try to get up, you don't want to deal with the setups, you roll, and oops, you get disemboweled. 
which is really harsh for trying to roll out of the way. Setting something up here for the next one. Yeah, unfortunately forgot what I was setting up. Oh, that's right. New combat roll. So this replaces the fly. And it's almost sort of like Reptile's Elbow from Ultimate MK3. Uh, he goes past you, and then he has a couple different options. He can do this quick slice, he can do a really fast overhead if he amplifies it, or he can just cancel it. And it's really, really quick, and can be kind of hard to deal with. So you can like go through it, stop, you kind of freeze up like a dude throws you. You can just do the slash. If the slash count, okay, I can't concentrate because of your background. That's amazing. Wow, What's you didn't get caught either. Not at all. I know. Okay. Do not turn around. So you're anyway. so you're doing the the, uh, the roll back and forth. There was a, a crushing blow off of that too. Yes. If the slash is a punish. Uh, it'll crushing blow. So the idea where there would be, you keep canceling it, you keep going for throws, jump overs, looping it or whatever, and the opponent's had enough, and like, all right, screw this, I'm going to attack you out of it. Then you actually do the slash and you get the crushing blow. Awesome. So it's and like a pressure that, like, blow, basically. And uh, also a command grab in there as well, which is yeah. incredible. So, so that's, like, awesome. that's totally like your rush down variation. It's the opposite of the other two. It's this character is going to be crap. bonkers. Rambo. You just want to go in and slit dudes' throats. Bad <laughs> kick ass. Bad kick ass. Yes, yeah, that, that sounded very tough stuff. Go in there and <laughs> slit dudes' throats. Um, so that's awesome. So we have a lot of different ways to play. We've got some space control. We have a rush down. There's a lot of different ways to play Rambo, so that's super exciting. Yep. Um, we do have a couple We have a couple surprises today for Rambo we're going to show. We're gonna to, we'll get to them in a second. We're going to show you... We didn't do this last week because we, we like to kind of mix it up. But this week we will be showing the new fatality, but we're not going to do that quite yet. Um, we're going to first uh, go. We've, we've seen this in the trailer again. We're just going to walk through the, the fatal blow one more time. We'll see that real quick. Awesome. And one that we didn't show last time, but we want to show today, is we're going to give away, show you one of Rambo's brutalities. Let's take a look at that. Ooh. Ow, God! Live for nothing, or die for something. I'm just going to go back to the farm now. All right. Excellent. Going back home in that portal. I, that I love that awesome. he picks up his duffel, says his his catchphrase, and leaves. Like, that's incredible to me. That just that brings back so many memories. I love that. Um, and last time we didn't show the second rain fatality, but, you know, we got some people. Some people like us, people don't. So this time, if you don't want to see the Rambo fatality, you should turn away. But we're going to show Rambo's yeah, other fatality. Guys. My God! <laughs> Super sick. Um, I love Rambo is always, like, he has to go to these fight arenas really early. Probably yes. a couple hours early before the fight because he has to bury his M60 under leaves. Mm -hmm. He's um, up a Multiple M60s. Yeah. He has to he put up a, an electrical uh, a bed. He has a ton of things he has to do before he even start the fight. So, big props to him. He carries it all um, in his duffel bag. And, yes. yes. <laughs> Every single bit of it is in his um, duffel bag. Again, so... The log trap, the M60s, uh, the everything. Words on uh, Rambo, what kind of things you're looking forward to seeing people do, anything like that? Um, I just think it's pretty cool how he can be this kind of, like, trap character that like keeps you away or he can go ham up close depending on how you want to play it so it'll be interesting to see the different play styles like i could see like 
the grappler player gravitating towards him, but I could also see like a really lame, like methodical player gravitating towards him. And then people are just like, oh, Sylvester Stallone's cool. I'll gravitate towards him. And then they kind of sure. mix and match it, which is cool. Also, ultimately, just as someone who's, you know, from the 80s, Robocop, Rambo, and Terminator are in this game. Like, yeah. seriously? We're going to see those matchups. And I'm super Next excited. DLC, John McClane from Die Hard. Do it. Yes. Anything you're looking forward to about Rambo? Uh, yeah, Mol- oh, I was going to say uh, Molina's next week. That's what I'm looking forward to. That's what you're looking forward to. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'll give it to you. Um, again, everybody, thank you. Now, these are going to be a little shorter streams because we are all from home. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not whoa. done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Don't okay. Worry. I'm okay. getting there. I was going to say. I'm getting there. Don't worry. I know. I know. Okay. Just let everybody know we, we're doing these for a different way, so we kind of have to keep them a little shorter. Um, before we get to, to close things out, we are going to go to my favorite part of the streams, the birthday shout-outs. That's right. We actually don't have any. I'm just kidding. All okay. right. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. We got Joseph from Phoenix, Arizona, Morgore7, Eddie Cherry, Marco Polo FGC, Admiral Hardass, Hollis, Shane Wade, Master Freezy's wife, Adam Butt, Brian Kang, Mark Chang, Andrew Stein, and our very own Stephanie Brownback. That's me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Everybody send your you. send your Twitter love wishing Stephanie a very happy birthday. Um so yeah, that's gonna be about it. Remember, um pre order. You get the Time Warrior skin pack, which is awesome, and all those upgrades we talked about. We'll go, we'll go back over those again next week just so everybody is sure of what they have. Uh, and that will, next time, we do have a stream coming up. It's Melina. We do not have a date for you right now, but it is coming. Um, Derek, you're very excited, right? Uh, yeah. When, when can we expect your uh, gameplay trailer, Tyler? When can we expect that? I was tweeting about football yesterday, and everything I did was just, when is the gameplay trailer coming? You'll see it when it does. Not going to give any dates away, but it's coming very soon. But would you say um, it's, it's real soon or like I'm, like a week away, gonna, maybe? I'm not. I'm not going to say anything about that. Um, oh. Does, that does said, she teleport in it? Okay. You know, I'll say, just wait. I will say yes. Um, so that's it, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, confirmed. She has I'm teleport kick again. To do these combat casts for everyone and show oh. off these new characters. Oh, yes, Stephanie. Also, don't forget. For those excited about gameplay changes, we'll be talking about that on the Molina stream. Yes, and very important. I'd like to offer one little hint to satiate everyone's hunger, if I may. My Please. favorite thing I'm most excited to talk about is about variations. All right. Oh. Sounds super cool. Very excited about that. Um, it's going to be a fun one next time. We'll get a day. Uh, keep following us on social media. Huh? Mortal Kombat. You will see when we're hmm? going live with uh, that stream and trailers and whatnot. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Derek. Don't Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. We will see you next time on the Combat Cast. <laughs> Tyler looked like he was ready to just punch Derek in the face. <laughs> right there! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Tyler's just like... <laughs> Everybody cuts off Dare uh Tyler. Like everybody cuts him off. Like it's a miracle he makes it through any combat cast. <laughs> <laughs>